Are you looking to create bots that enable dynamic self-service interactions and enhance customer experience in your contact center? Hi everyone, this is Mariana from WebRTC Ventures and in today's video, I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process for building conversational bots using Amazon Connect, Amazon Lex, AWS Lambda and Amazon Bedrock. Let's get started. Amazon Connect is a cloud-based contact center service that allows businesses to provide a great customer experience. It integrates with other AWS services to create conversational bots that can handle custom inquiries and issues. To build conversational bots, we need to integrate Amazon Lex into our Amazon Connect contact flows. Amazon Lex is a service for building conversational interfaces using voice and text interactions. We'll use it to create a voice bot that can respond to customer inquiries. Let's start by creating an AWS Lambda function to process the user input from the voice bot and generate a response. This function will be triggered by Amazon Lex when the bot receives a user input. The first thing you need to do is get the name of the intent that triggered the Lambda function, along with the transcript of the user input. This will allow you to adopt the logic of the function to the specific intent and to also build the list of messages that will be passed to the model in Amazon Bedrock. For this very simple example, we are creating just one message. In here, we are also creating a different prompt for each specific intent, and we are including all the related information in that prompt. For more complex scenarios, you might want to use a different approach, like a retrieval augmented generation one. Once you have the prompt and the list of messages, you need to invoke the model. Let's look at this invoke modal function. What we do here is that we first initialize the bedrock runtime client and then set the configuration parameters for the model. In this example, we are using Cloud3 and we use the Converse API to perform the request to Amazon Bedrock. Once we have the response, we need to pass it back to the Amazon Lex along with the indication of what the bot should do next. In our example, we want the bot to ask the customer for a different intent, so we pass along the illicit intent, dialog action in the session state. Now that you have a function, you need to make it available to Amazon Lex. To do so, you need to publish a new version of the bot and associate it with an alias. So let's do that. So here I am in the Amazon Lex dashboard and I'm looking at the versions for my bot. So I'm gonna create a version Great, I'm gonna enter a description. I'm gonna select the languages and I'm gonna click create. So let's wait a couple of seconds until Amazon Lex finishes publishing the version and we have version one ready. Now let's go to aliases and we're gonna create an alias. So let me name this prod version. And I will choose the version that I just created and let's click on create. The next step is to select the alias and then select the language that I want to associate the Lambda function with. So this case, it's English. And here I can look for my function and also select an alias for my function. In this case, I'm going to select the latest and I'm going to I'm going to click on save. So now we have the Lambda function associated with the LexBot. Then for each of the intents you want the function to fulfill, make sure to enable the fulfillment step and also to check the use Lambda function for fulfillment option. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to select the ask about accounts intent. And I will scroll down to fulfillment. So I need to make sure that this is active. 
and I'm going to go and click on the advanced option to make sure that the option use Lambda function for fulfillment is also enabled. In case of the voice interaction, you can also enable a set of canned responses for the bot to tell the customer where the Lambda is being executed. This will allow you to avoid that awkward silence while Amazon Bedrock comes up with a response. Now, you need to add the bot to the Amazon Connect instance list of enabled bots. To do so, in the instance configuration, go to Flows and then select the region, Bot and Alias under Amazon Flex. Then, Click on Add Amazon Lex Bot. This makes the bot available to be used in contact flows. Next, in the contact flow, you need to add a get customer input block. And after setting an initial prompt message, select the bot and add the alias you just added. Now that we've set up everything, it's demo time. I'm going to show you a short demo of using a voice bot. Thank you for contacting your favorite bank's automated FAQ system. What can I do for you? Hello, I would like to know how can I open an account. I can help you with your question about account. Give me a minute while I check my knowledge base. Certainly, here are the steps to open an account with our bank. 1. Visit one of our physical branch locations. We have agencies open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday to Friday. 2. Bring a valid form of identification, such as a driver's license, passport, or national ID card. 3. Fill out and sign the account opening form, which is called Form A50. Once you have completed these three steps, our staff will process your application and open the new account for you. Please note that accounts are suspended after 90 days of inactivity. If your account becomes suspended, you can reopen it by visiting one of our physical branch locations again. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'm happy to provide more information to help you get your new account set up. Is there any other topic I can help you with? Yes, I also want to know how can I get a debit card? Sure. I can help you with your question about your debit card. Let me check my knowledge base. Give me a minute. Here are the steps to get a debit card from the bank. 1. Visit a physical branch of the bank. 2. Bring a valid form of identification, such as a driver's license, passport, or state-issued ID card. 3. Ask to apply for a debit card. The bank representative will have you fill out a form, typically called Form A51. 4. Provide any other required information, such as your full legal name, address, phone number, and account details. 5. Sign the completed application form. 6. The bank representative will process your request and order a debit card for you. This usually takes 7 to 10 business days for the card to be delivered to the branch or your mailing address. 7. Once the debit card arrives, you'll need to activate it by calling the number provided or visiting the branch. 8. The bank will also provide you with a personal identification number, PIN, to use the debit card for transactions and ATM withdrawals. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'm happy to provide more details about the debit card application process. Is there any other topic I can help you with? No, that's all. Thank you. My pleasure. If you have any further questions, feel free to call again. In this video, we've seen how to build conversational bots using Amazon Connect, Amazon Lex, AWS Lambda, and Amazon Bedrock. By integrating these services, businesses can create dynamic self-service interactions that enhance customer experience and reduce the workload of contact center agents. If you're looking into integrating conversational bots into your contact center, at WebRTC Ventures, we're expert at building real-time, high-quality communication apps using WebRTC. Or if you're looking for a product that you could just plug and play into your contact center at Conectara, we have several of those. 
Contact us to know more about our services at WebRTC Ventures slash contact. Thank you.